So you gotta play with it and get it in there. I'm gonna try to make it a packed, try to get a little bit of farm animal footage in every video I put up. I can't guarantee that every time, especially when I do the shorts on my on my cell phone. But whenever I pull out the big camera and I'm doing stuff, I'm gonna try to get you some some really nice uh, footage so you can check on how they're progressing. All right, well, we've harassed them enough. Look at the one with the feather in his mouth. Can you see that? That dark one right there. The one kind of looking at us. He's got a feather in his mouth. See him raking it? That one walking there. I think I got him focused in pretty clearly. Yeah, that's enough of the chickies for today. They're all doing great. Hey kids! Sorry about the noise, but I'm driving out my road heading over to the Tesoro gas station. And uh, I live on a gravel road. In fact, it's three miles of gravel, a little more than three miles of gravel to get out to the paved road. And gravel is, as you can see, it's dusty, it's dirty, it's hot, and it's noisy. So, <clears throat> anyhow, today, um, I just got done with the gravel work that I'm doing today. It's not a done job, but I'm done for the day because I'm an old fat geezer and that's about all I can handle for a day. I got one side of the foundation 75% done. So I'm um, maybe a quarter of the way of getting the grade and the leveling done. And then I got a bunch of gravel I just gotta move. I gotta finish moving the rest of that gravel and get it out of the way. I'm filling low spots in the driveway so that uh, won't have all the whips and do's in the driveway anymore and the puddles forming and what have you. I think later on I'm gonna get a load of uh, a bank run which is just you know gravel as they dig it and uh, fill some low wet spots that I've got it's much bigger stone usually round which isn't great so I'll have to put it down and then cover it with some of this three-quarter fine stuff which is broken and chipped and does a better job of holding stuff but anyhow the reason for this video is a lot of folks well, not a lot of folks. I don't have a lot of folks yet. I only have just a few, very few subscribers. So, a folk... <laughs> a folk asked me, what's a dry cabin? What does it mean to, that I live in a dry cabin? Well, a dry cabin is just that. It is a cabin without water. I do not have a flush toilet. I have an outhouse. I do not have a bathroom. I don't have a sink. I don't have a shower. I don't have a washer dryer. I don't have a bathtub. It's a dry cabin. Four walls, floor and a roof. Insulated, got a wood stove in it. I've got a uh, ersatz kind of kitchen set up inside of it. My bed, my desk, 16 foot by 16 foot. It's a pretty small footprint. Um, it's insulated, it's got electric, but no water. That's the big job that I'm working on for this summer. In fact, that's why I'm working on this project now. I'm gonna build this tool shed. I'm gonna move all the tools out of the greenhouse storage area where they're at now that's collapsed and uh, get them so they're good and high and dry, build a workbench in there so I've got something to work with. And uh, then I'm gonna tear those down, clean that area up, dig a water line right through where they're at and uh, run a water line from the well over to the cabin. I do have a well. I'm gonna run a septic line over to the cabin. There is a septic system in the ground. There used to be a house foundation there. Uh, there used to be a house foundation and that house burnt down. So we've got a unusable foundation there that uh, I'm gonna tear apart and rebuild maybe. Depends on how long I'm here. If I'm here for as long as I hope to be here, then I won't do that. I'll just sell it the way it is. And 
you know, get, get the cabin built and comfortable for myself for this winter and then be able to go. As you can probably tell, we just made it out to the pavement. So that's what a dry cabin is. It's a dry cabin without water. So that begs the question, well, how do you live? Well, uncomfortably for the most part. Like I said, we're fixing that. We'll, we will have a wet cabin. We will have a kitchen addition. I'm gonna put a 16 by 20 kitchen addition on the front and then a large like uh, 12 by 16 bathroom off to the side of that and that'll have laundry facilities and a shower and toilet and all that kind of stuff and I can start living like a human. For the time being, I do what I'm doing right now. I drive over to the local Tesoro gas station that we have in this area, kind of a truck stop kind of thing, and they have showers there. So I go over there and for four bucks I can take a shower. I gotta pack my stuff in my little gym bag, which I have on the seat behind me, and uh, I drive over and take a shower there in their facility and then drive home. I uh, haul water from my well and uh, heat water on my stove for dishes. And I use the outhouse even when it's minus 30 outside. Um, you know, I would rather be out on the outhouse when it's minus 30, actually, than be in the outhouse now, this time of year. Because this time of year, there's mosquitoes. And there's just some places you just don't want to get a mosquito bite. I mean, let's be real here, you know? There are some sensitive parts hanging down that I just don't want mosquitoes getting on. So, I really dislike the outhouse more this time of year than the wintertime. In the wintertime, we're bug free too cold for them too cold for everything so anyhow i'm gonna try to do some kind of sleuthing with my phone here when i get to the gas station and uh, maybe i can shoot some footage of me going in paying for my shower walking over to the restroom having them unlock the door for me that kind of stuff i can show you what the showers look like here they're really not bad and they usually do a very good job of keeping them clean uh they spray them down and bleach them down and stuff to keep down any uh you know communicable diseases if you will you just take precautions you know I've got little shower shoes that I wear and use my own towel and so far so good haven't had a problem so okay so that was about six miles to get over here so it's about a 12 mile round trip every time I want to take a shower or uh, about a gallon of gas, about, about a gallon of diesel. And as I pull into Tesoro, diesel right now is $2.35 a gallon. So about a gallon of diesel, that's $2.35, plus $4 for the shower. I'm $6.35 into my shower every time. And uh, this is a common thing up here in Alaska. I'm not the only one. There's a lot of folks up here who live off the grid in dry cabins. So anyhow, let's see how it goes.